see ya. I don't know why that was so satisfying, but it really was. Here we are again, race fans. We are here for PCA Sim Racing Zone Challenge Championship. Race number two, Road Atlanta. Road Atlanta is an amazing track. It's a tough track. There are a lot of places where you can uh, have some misadventure. It's also a fairly small track, much smaller than Spa. So there's going to be a lot more traffic, a lot more adventure tonight. So we're all hoping to keep our noses clean and have an exciting race. Um, as you know, I'm in PCA Sport, so I'm in the class up from the bottom. Um, and it's actually a lot of really good competition from the entire national spectrum. All of the best of the sport from the different zones across America are participating in tonight's challenge. Actually, America and Canada other places as well. It's North America. Um, so very exciting um, race tonight. Looking forward to it. This is for all of the glory in the Zone Challenge Championship uh, for this particular year. And uh, it should be fun. I finished 12th in the first race. I'm, I'm hoping to do the same, maybe a little better in this race, um, just to keep it going. The cool thing is... Uh, we actually have two people, Jeff Rosenthal is also competing uh, and representing Zone 7 in this particular race, uh, PCA Sport race. And uh, he and I combined together to put uh, Zone 7 on the board for sixth place of all the different zones. And uh, so pretty proud about that, considering the fact that uh, um, neither one of us did as well as we would have liked in the first race. Although it was a lot of fun. So tonight we're hoping for more fun and hoping to keep our, our place on the board for Zone 7 and uh, represent. So enjoy the race, and uh, as usual, we'll do a qualification and the race and then a wrap-up, um, although the video may be a little late, so if you're seeing this and it's Saturday afternoon or even Sunday morning, I apologize. I have some stuff I need to do for a friend after my race finishes. Have a good night, and enjoy the race. All right, here we go. Putting your exits clear. Don't cross the white line. All right, Chip, we've got three laps. Let's get this done. Time to get spicy. up a little there. It's okay.
it's a little abrupt, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Eighth place, only two laps of fuel left. Good luck, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Thank you. Stay safe, everybody. Good luck. Just watch for the traffic jam at the bottom of the hill. Which hill? The right answer is all of them. Morgan, good luck. Keith, zone four. Like I. The track temp is 71 Fahrenheit. The air temp is 65 Fahrenheit. Follow car number 701. Guys, let's get caught up. Remember, don't go until the thing comes green, out. Green, green.
16. Sorry, Thomas, my headset went crazy. My tracking changed, I couldn't see out the windshield. Not a problem. Come by, John. seconds. and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. P15. The guy behind is really anywhere. The gap's now 2.1 seconds. That was terrifying. B13. intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it.
just allowing everybody to catch us. Yellow flag. Every single time, it's locked. George, I didn't mean to wiggle on you before that. George, if you get a draft, go left. Uh, this is an Austin Powers thing. God, I'm gonna fall all the way down. God damn it. Fuck me. Thanks, Tom. This out, E24, we've got 20 minutes to go. seconds. Your lap times are improving, this is good. Blow up, Paul, to blow up. I'm hitting Ken. Yellow flag, caution. Hey, Ken, guys, you blew up. My motor blew. Blew up, didn't it, Paul? She went through. That's one.
to make the shift. Probably my payback from being puffed on the start. Go ahead, Matt. Thank you. Place. Well, that was at 117.73. The gap ahead is now 5.5. That's two, by the way. That's 15 minutes, halfway home, fuel's good. That last lap was at 117.85. seconds.
right exit. Yeah, Thanks, Donald. Yes, sir, I got damage. I'm off time. I don't know why that was so satisfying, but it really was. Sector 1 is 0 0.8 off the pace. Zero seconds. Well, we're back where we started, people. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. Thanks, nice Ryan. Sorry if I messed anybody up, VR issues. No, I saw you disappear, didn't know what happened. I was hoping it wasn't me. I'm sympathetic, my tracking has been changing the whole race. The truck temperature is increasing. It's now Get 80 in. Fahrenheit.
The gap in front is now 8.2 seconds. There's a few remaining. Six. All right, Chip, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. Sector two is zero point three three off the pace. Inside. Why is that car still sitting there? That's your fastest lap today. He needs to freaking tow. Sitting there to be a distraction? Come on up, Dave. Yeah, I see your light. The gap in front has increased to 8.4 seconds. Thank you, James. Thank you, Landry. P8 
18. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Tough left it. Thanks, sir. Five minutes of fuel left. Sector three times quick. Sector 1 is 0.43, off the pace. Oh, sorry, Tom. Yellow flag, watch out. Seventeenth place, white flag, one more lap. Sector 1 is 0.1, off the pace. This is ridiculous. God. Sorry. Drive, 14th, man. there's the checkered flag. We're gonna run out of gas crossing the finish line.
it looks like I finished 14th. Nice race, guys. Which, considering I started 19th and fell to 24th. Good moving, George. See you in this next series. That isn't bad. You got it, Gregor. Speed limit is 45 miles per hour. <laughs> 300 feet. 100 feet. Wow. We'll come back later and talk about that. So that wraps up the Zone Challenge Championship. In a nutshell, hmm, how can I wrap it up in a nutshell? Well, it was probably among the most disappointing races I've ever participated in. Also among the most fun races I've been in. And also probably one of the races I'm proudest of for some strange reasons. So, you know, uh, it, it's never good having a bad qualification and having to fight your way through, but to work your way up to 13th um, in a short order, uh, in a matter of three or four laps, uh, not a bad, bad way to go. Um, I think it was at least by lap, by lap seven, at least I was, I was in 13th. And then I had a problem in the hairpin, exit, caught grass, spun, and had to watch the whole field go by. That's disappointing. It's never fun. But then it actually put me in the, the position that I actually enjoy being in probably more than any other position. You ask anybody in my region, they'll tell you that if I'm participating in a tour, I'm usually driving sweep. I like to be in the back. I like to see the field. I like to catch people. I just, it's my thing, I guess. Um, so uh, falling all the way down to 24th was kind of familiar territory. In fact, I'll give you away one of my trade secrets. One of the things I do when I prep for races is I do a lot of the GT3 AI driving and I'll put myself in the back, very back of the pack and see how far forward I can work my way up. Um, and so I enjoy that. So tonight's race was really very familiar for me being in 24th position and just pushing, just pushing as hard as I could and uh, making up positions as I went. And ultimately it paid off. I, I was actually a little disappointed in the end. I just watched the broadcast replay. And if I had pushed a little bit harder the last two laps where I had just sort of just figured I'm seven, eight seconds back, I'm probably not gonna catch the next uh, set of cars. Um, if I pushed just a little, little bit, I would have picked up 13th position to finish. But as it was, I finished in 14th, starting in 19th. That is not a bad way to finish. Um, obviously there's, always that little nagging could have been should have been sort of thing in the back of my head but at the end of the day hey it is what it is it was a lot of fun and um i i enjoyed participating and competing against these guys it was uh, some pretty incredible racing and a lot of fun to rewatch in the official broadcast one of the things i wanted to mention um jeff rosenthal i mentioned is in zone seven also competing in the sport class with me and uh, he's a he's a diehard, tryhard guy. He's uh, got a lot of heart, and uh, he's all like, I'm not quitting no matter what. You know, it's for the zone. Got to get those points. And he did exactly that. He had a really rough start to the race, um, wound up kind of off in the weeds a little bit, got a penalty, wound up having to serve that in the, uh, the pit, and um, still came back out. And what I thought was so cool when I watched the broadcast is that uh, Rachel called that out. She's all like, you know, he, he's having a rough race and he's still in it and he's still pushing on. And this was when he was in 25th. And she even called out when she noticed that he made up the position. Um, good on Jeff. Um, it's good for the sport. It's good sportsmanship. Um, and really, it's, it's a hard thing to do. You find yourself behind the eight ball and having to struggle through to push through and uh, get every last ounce out that you can. Leave nothing on, on, the, on, the, on the table. Um, just to keep going. Push it. Um, that that's incredible. That's cool. So good on you, Jeff. Um, proud to be Zone Seven with you, and uh, that that's a way to represent. We didn't represent in points. We didn't win, but uh, that's a way to represent. 
Other races are really cool. Um, I have not yet watched the uh, finish of the club race, but I understand that that finished quite well for WWZ folks. And um, I actually, I uh, watched the uh, pro class race earlier as well, and that was a lot of fun. Um, congratulations to Dave Craig um, for running a great race. Um, definitely was class of the field. Um, Jeffrey Lant came in second. And Ryan Korzanowski. Um, Ryan is a guy that kind of came into the WWZ late in Series 2, participated in a, an event or two with us, and then uh, then we started getting into the zone challenge stuff. The guy is really, really fast. Um, a lot of fun to have on track, and uh, it was great to see him finish well. So WWZ folks that finished really well. Ryan, of course, um, and then, of course, Matt Mardini pushed up from sixth. He was, uh, he was with me just a little bit ahead of me when I spun. So that's where he was in 12th, right around 12th, 13th, and pushed his way all the way forward. He actually started 15th um, and finished in sixth position, which is one off a top five, which is pretty cool. So good on you, Matt. That's that's a really good finish. Um, other folks that are uh, in WWZ and how they finished, of course, we have... Um, Arnie Clayson, he had a great race early on and started 10th, qualified fairly well, and um, just had a, a little bit of a rough go there at the finish. Um, Jammer, um, he started 25th, dead last, and finished 21st, so four positions. That's that's great work. Um, good 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 work there. And then we already talked about Jeff Rosenthal and uh, his his rough race, but a uh, great finish given given the circumstances. So that's the wrap up for the sport race um, and the zone challenge um, championship in general. Um, I do not have the final points and probably won't for a few days yet. That will be published. Um, I mentioned coming in in the sport class, zone seven was in sixth position. I have to assume we probably fell down a little bit from that. Um, and I'm sure that I fell down a, a, a little bit. Uh, finished first race 12th, finished this one 14th. So I'm figuring I'm somewhere between um, um, 12th and 13th in terms of finish, depending upon how the points line up with uh, people that finished better than me last race and finished worse than me this race. But um, all in all, it was a fun fun series to compete in. Next for the majority of these folks will be Series 6, but I'm actually taking a break from Series 6 because it's actually the races are going to be on a Wednesday night, and with work um, that is a tremendous challenge for me. So I'm going to take this iteration off. I'm going to participate in the team events um, and continue on with that press with Rob Cottle and uh, the WWZ Red entry, and then he and I are also competing in a Champion Motorsports uh, iRacing Team Endurance Series that is a lot of fun in an LMP2 car, which is a whole other ball of wax, a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll focus on my iRating, focus on iRacing official races for a little while, and then I'll come back strong um, in Series 7 um, and, and pick back up uh, if they move it back to Friday nights. Anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed this, and um, definitely um, if you are... Uh, into this sort of thing, you enjoyed this broadcast, uh, subscribe, like, um, add a comment. Um, let me know what you think of the performance tonight. Um, if you have any favorite drivers that you want to hear or see more of or just say hi to, put it in the comments and I'll make sure they hear from you. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll be doing some interesting stuff moving forward uh, around team events. And uh, who knows, I may make a guest appearance or two in Series 6 as well. So thank you for joining me and uh, take care. Bye-bye.